Welcome back to Math Party, people. Anderson here, your math coach. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to multiply polynomials, okay? So this is gonna be a couple of parts in terms of the videos you're gonna watch. But we're gonna start off by looking at how to just distribute. How to just distribute when it comes to, right over here, multiplying one inside of a parentheses that has two or more terms. So stay tuned in this video because I'm gonna show you where we include negatives, where we have more than one variable. I'm gonna show you all of that in this video, so make sure to watch to the very, very end. And again, if you're in the program or if you're in the course, make sure to, after you watch this, get into those worksheets, basically making sure you can get comfortable, practice, check your work with the answer key, and then move forward into those speed drills. That way you can really build that confidence and speed. So again, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you four different types of problems here in this video now, okay? So it might be a little longer, but it's gonna be totally worth it. Here we go. So we have ourselves right over here, number one, find the product, basically distribute. That's what that means. So we have three X cubed times six X and three X cubed times negative four. So with that said, here's how this is gonna work. The rule about the distributive property is making sure, so write this down with me, with the distributive property, with that thing right there, property, my handwriting sucks today, but make sure everything outside of the parentheses multiplies with everything on the inside, okay? Make sure, make sure everything on the outside multiplies with everything on the inside, right over here on the outside, multiplies with everything on the inside. That's really the main rule. With everything, everything on the inside. Again, that's the main, main, main rule. If you have that rule down, you're gonna have this down in no time. So let's go ahead and show you what that really means, how it works, that way you can blast off and crush this. Here we go. So here's what we mean by that. What we mean is saying, hey, look, you have three X cubed in the outside. You need to make sure that that three X cubed multiplies with the six X. And also you gotta make sure that it multiplies with that negative four. That's really it. Making sure that it multiplies with everything on the inside and you're good. Now, to understand how to multiply these things together, we really need to know how to go ahead and handle exponents and variables. Here's how it works. If you're multiplying two terms, and you have the same variable, you're gonna add those exponents. You're gonna add those exponents, okay? So for example, if we have three X squared times the six X, first of all, the three times the six, that's gonna be 18, right? Three times six is 18. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can really see what I'm doing here. So three times six is gonna be the 18. Now the X cubed times the X, what's gonna happen there? What happens is you're gonna add those exponents and there's a one here. So you're gonna have x cubed times x, which is x to the power four. The reason that that works, my math party people, is this. Let me just show you really quickly before I continue so that way you can really feel that comfortability and that confidence. Let's go ahead and say we have the x cubed times the x. Remember that when you have an exponent, all you're really saying is, hey, how many times that number multiplies by itself? That's all you're saying. That's all you're saying. So watch this. So x cubed, this is the same thing as saying, three X's multiplied together. That's what X cubed means. X squared, two X's times two by themselves. X cubed, three of them. X to the power of four, four of them. I think you get the point. And then when you have that X that's still there, that's being multiplied, how many X's do you have now? You now have four. And so that's why all of these together makes X to the power of four, right over there. So that's where that comes from. Again, when you're multiplying the same variable, add the exponents together because that's how many times that variable is being multiplied by itself. So hopefully that was a quick little uh, detour there for you. Rewind if you need to see that again. But now we're gonna go ahead and take care of this over here. Three X cubed times the negative four. So here's what we'll do. We have the signs first, a positive times a negative, that's gonna be a negative. And then you have three times four, which is 12. And notice how we don't have an X over here. We don't, that's fine. You just rewrite the X cubed and you're good, and you're good. Again, we're not, we're not adding and subtracting here. This is not combining like terms. This is multiplying now. Different set of rules, so let's make, make sure to separate those two when it comes to adding, subtracting, versus multiplying, two different rules. The correct answer is going to be over here, uh, answer choice B. 
but I want to show you plenty of examples to make that happen. So write that down again, distributive property, make sure everything from the outside multiplies with everything on the inside. That's it. Here we go. Number two, let me go ahead and zoom in and let's get this done. We're going to do 2n times the 4n, and then we'll have the 2n times the negative 4. That's how this is going to work. So with that said, here we go. Remember, my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free, so go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. Here we go. 2n times 4n, what's that gonna be? Well, first you'll take care of just the numbers, two times four, that's gonna be eight. Then you multiply the variables together, n times n. Well, what's n times n? Well, just like four times four is four squared, or you know x times x is x squared, n times n is just gonna be n squared. So you just have eight n squared there, just like that. Because again, n times n means the same thing multiplied by itself, that's n squared. So you can also see it as having an exponent of one and a one there, one plus one is two, Booyah. So with that seven math part of people, next up right over here, we have 2n times that negative 4. A positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 4 is 8. And there is no uh, n here, but that's fine. Because you're multiplying. It's not like multiplying by 0, no. You're just saying, hey, how many of these n's do we have now? The same amount, 8n. All right. So the answer here is going to be d. And now we keep going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you again four different types of problems. So I just showed you the first type where it's a little easy. But let's get a little more complicated here, my math party people. I really want to make sure you understand this, so watch the whole video. So number 26, let's jump up here. So over here what we have, and I'm going to do 26, 27, all the way through. Because you're going to notice that we have different variables now. So watch. First up, 5 distributed to the 3u and the 5 distributed to the 2v. Again, it's not that crazy, just follow the rules. So here, 5 times 3u, 5 times 3 is 15, and then there's just a u there that stays the same. Again, when multiplying, it's not like adding and subtracting, it's very different. So then next up, we have 5 times 2v, 5 times 2 is 10, and you keep the v. So we have 15u plus 10v. Allow me to go to this next one to show you again when we have set, you know, different variables here. So this one is a really interesting one that I want to show you because notice what's going on. We're going to have to go ahead and multiply the 5m n cubed with 2m. And then we're also going to multiply the 5m n cubed with a negative 2n. Let's get it done. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and show you just in a little more of a detailed manner really what's going on. So what we have first is we're going to have ourselves 5m n cubed multiplied by the 2m. And then what we're going to have is over here, well, we have a minus, so a positive times a negative is going to be negative. But then we're going to have ourselves the same thing, the 5mn cubed times the 2n. That's what's going on here. We are distributing, we are multiplying everything on the outside with everything on the inside there. And so here's what we're going to do. Notice how we have a 5 and a 2 here that's going to combine multiplying to get 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Then you're going to worry about the m. Notice that we have right over here m times m. Well, m times m is going to be m squared. And then lastly over here, we have n cubed. That's just going to be n cubed. So we just write it again, and we're, and we're good. That's it. That is it. Next up, we have ourselves over here. The negative stays there, the minus stays there. Then we have 5 times 2, that's going to end up giving, being 10. Then we have ourselves over here, m times nothing else, so that's just going to be m. But then what we have a math party people is n cubed times n. So if you have 3 n's being multiplied with 1 n, that's 4 n's multiplied together, n times n times n times n. 
n to the power of 4 right there. And so there's our final answer. 10m squared n cubed minus 10mn to the power of 4. Just like that. And there's our answer over there as d. So there it is. Now I want to show you again the next variant of this. Again, it can get as complicated as you want to make it, but as long as you follow the same sets of rules, you're good, my math party people. You're absolutely good. So let's go ahead and dive on in here to number 51 here. 51, we just have a negative in front. That's it. That's all we've got going on. So watch this. We're going to go ahead, do the same thing we've been doing. Distribute the negative 2 to the x and distribute the negative 2 to the negative 5y. That's all we're doing. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So here we go, my math party people. We're gonna go ahead here and start off, let me go and use purple to distribute that negative two. So we have negative two times x. Nothing really to do there, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And then up next, what we have going on up here is we're gonna have the negative two and we're gonna multiply that by the five y. The negative five y. So I'm gonna put that in the parentheses to show you what's going on. But really what we have here, just I'm gonna rewrite this. And then over here we have a negative times a negative. A negative times a negative, that's gonna be a positive. Two times five is 10, and then you keep the y there. So we have negative 2x plus 10y, and that is going to be answer choice D again. Again, my math part of people, it's really about doing the little things the right way. That's how you can go all the way. So let's go ahead and take care of number 52. Let's go ahead and take care of number 52 here, and let's keep the party going. So number 52, and then we have another last set of a again, slightly more complicated uh, problem set, and then we're done. You're going to go up next, practice, 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 and you're good. So here we go. We have ourselves over here. We have ourselves this 3x cubed y, and we're going to distribute it to the 3x and distribute it to the 6y. Okay, here's what we do. We're going to go ahead here and say, hey, we have the 3x cubed y multiplied by 3x, and we're adding, and it's a positive, so we're still adding. And that's going to be the same thing again, the 3x cubed y multiplied by the 6y. So right over here in blue, 6y. So here we go, my math party people. Let's go ahead and get the job done. 3 times 3 is going to be 9. x cubed times x, that's going to be x to the power of 4. Because again, that x just has an exponent of 1. So it's going to be x cubed times x, that's x to the power of 4. And then we have the y there. No y to deal with, so we just keep the y the same, just like that. Then over here, 3 times 6, that's going to be 18. x cubed, there's no other x, so that's just going to be x cubed. And then y times y, that's y squared. Because 5 times 5 is 5 squared, x times x is x squared. y times y, just going to be y squared. And that's it. There you go, there's your answer. And we look for the uh, answer choice that is correct, and that will be A. That'll be A, just like that. So let's get into this last set here. This is as complicated as multiplying by just monomials is going to get. So let's go ahead and start off with number 76 here, where I'm just dealing with more terms. That's really it. You have three terms in the inside. Distribute it to all three terms. Super straightforward, my math party people. Distribute to every term on the inside. Just like that. Again, just make sure that you're following the same sets of rules. And before we continue, my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video,
comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. So two times negative six is negative 12. Keep the n squared. Then in red, two times negative eight n is negative 16 n. And then lastly, in blue, we have ourselves two times positive eight, which is positive 16. And that's it. That is seriously it. You can have more terms, sure, still no problem, because remember that when you're distributing, you're making sure that everything on the outside of the parentheses multiplies with everything inside, just like that. Lastly here, number 77. Oh, boo-hoo, we have a negative, right? Don't worry, we're good. We're gonna distribute that negative seven to the negative six V squared, to the negative seven V, and to the negative five. So notice how we're multiplying negatives times negatives. Hmm, it's gonna make this a little easy, right? Just take your time, analyze, and then do. So notice how we have a negative seven times a negative six. That's gonna end up being a positive 42. And then we keep the V squared as is. Up next, we have ourselves negative seven times negative seven V. That's a positive 49. And that V stays where it was. And lastly, in purple, we've got ourselves negative seven times negative five, which is going to be a positive 35. And there we have it, my math party people. Our answer will be C. And boom, just like that, my math party people, just like that. So I just went over a ton of problems here, right? That was at least what? That was at least eight or nine problems. And really what this is all about is learning how to multiply a monomial inside of a parentheses. That's it, distribution, the distributive property. Now, the question really is, what if we have, well, two, a parentheses times a parentheses? What happens there? Stay tuned because that's gonna come up after this series. So this is your guided practice video. Move up next to go ahead and complete the worksheet. And then from there, tackle the speed drills to really boost your confidence and raise your score. That way you can, again, stay calm, cool, and collected under pressure. I'm Coach Anderson. If you have any questions, just let me know. But you know I appreciate the heck out of y'all. Let's keep moving forward and let's have a good time. I'll see you in the next video. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.